Okay, so what um, evidence are you speaking of specifically? What really stands up? Stands up. Whoa, whoa. Today, we are outside of Fairfax County Courthouse, recently known for it, the site of Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation case against ex-wife Amber Heard, who is countersuing him for $100 million because she thinks he's calling her a liar. This week is a final week of the case. This case will be known as one of the most star-studded cases of our time, divulging the honest truths of a famous marriage gone wrong. As we peek inside this dysfunctional union, we look deep into our own belief systems. Is it possible for abuse to occur with both genders? Who is deceiving who within this case? They are both actors, so they could be acting on the stand. We have been presented with many different accusations. Soon we will know what the jury will decide. Is there a place for redemption here for both parties? Will they both have to give up their careers in the limelight? Let's find out when the jury deliberates. Okay, so I'm outside of the courthouse still, and I found a supporter of Amber Heard. Um, this is very fascinating because uh, from what I've seen online, there's not many of them out there. Uh, what's your name? My name is Dan, or you can call me uh, Amber Stan 11, but I think calling me Dan is easier. Okay, <laughs> so tell me, why do you stand with Amber Heard? Well, I believe with Amber, I stand with Amber Heard because I believe Amber Heard. I, I believe that she's one of the millions of survivors of domestic violence in the United States. I think there's a lot of evidence for uh, Amber Heard. I think that the witnesses collabor uh, corroborate with the evidence. I think that Amber Heard's case is solid. Uh, and the big question for this case is, did Johnny Depp commit any fact acts of violence uh, or domestic violence against Amber Heard at any time or in any way? And I think that case is very clear. And the answer is yes. Mm. OK, so what um, evidence are you speaking of specifically? What really stands up? It stands. With? This is what I got to deal with it. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, of course, so there's so that I'm going to just name. Uh, let's go with two pieces of evidence right now. That is very clear. Mm -hmm. uh, the face bruising um, committed by uh, uh, Johnny Depp and the hair pulling. Um, mm -hmm. There's evidence of that. Uh, her witnesses. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to recall their names right now because I'm going to butcher their names. Uh, but those are the big two things that I could think of right now. Um, mm -hmm. But if if you are, but it's not my job to judge uh, this case. I think that it's the jury's decision to to believe Amber's uh, Amber's case. I think it's a very strong case. So uh, I just hope the jury sees it that way as well. Right. It's so fascinating. Um, so one question I have for you, I've been following the case myself cool. and I wonder why were the LAPD called twice that one night, I believe in March or May um, years back uh, to the penthouse in downtown LA. Why do you think that they didn't cooperate with the police those nights? Yeah, so night? well, first of all, it's not my job to to figure speculate, that out yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not yeah speculate um that's a jury's decide to, to determine uh which way the case is going to go um it's not my call it's not my judgment call unfortunately i don't like uh speculating i don't what, but what is your opinion i i'm curious I, uh, see this is this is the problem with this case I, I think there's a lot of speculation going around and it's being told as truth and it's just a vicious pr ca campaign against amber heard i think that uh johnny depp's lawyers pr team they're just pumping out all this content for uh, pro Johnny Depp uh, fans and anti Amber Heard uh, fans as well. Yeah, but I wonder, though, she had the opportunity to talk to the police and she didn't that night. Yeah. And there's evidence that she didn't. I wonder why. Well, I, I can't speak for Amber Heard. I, I think that her case is very solid. Um, if you want to find an answer to that, I think you should refer to Amber Heard and her legal team. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so where are you coming from? I come from uh, Northern Virginia. Okay, Northern Virginia. So uh, uh, we just got here on a red-eye flight from L.A. We're wow. actually not 
here for this specifically. Yeah. Uh, we just, we're here for another job, but we thought we'd stop by. Yeah. Have you been here this whole time? No, I have not. This is my third time here. Your third day yeah. at the courthouse. Has it been uh, consecutive or off and on? Off and on. Okay. And I've decided to come uh, here to support Amber Heard because there's not enough uh, voices in support of her uh, mm -hmm. here because we're too, a lot of people were too afraid to even mm -hmm. come here because the negative reaction that you get, you just saw people driving by saying F Amber Heard and it's, it's really, it's that behavior is really deplorable. Uh, just because, just because you have a different opinion doesn't mean that you should act that way. You should act civilized in a, in a country with the privilege and the right of freedom of speech. So that's what I believe in. I believe in freedom of speech too myself. Right. Um, I love that. Uh, thank you for saying all of that. I I heard that you have had some um, disputes with some Johnny Depp uh, fans. Can you tell me more about that experience? Uh, it, it's not a big deal. I had one uh, one Johnny Depp fan scratch me on the arm. Uh, really? Yeah, it's just right there. Show, show the camera. Uh, it, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a big scratch. It's not. It's listen. I, I got thicker skin quite literally than Johnny Depp fans. Uh, so I already forgave uh, that person that did it and it's not a big deal. Wow, that's really big of you. That's really cool. Um, you know, it, you know, I think both sides uh, have been heard in this case and you know, it's up to the jury to see what they decide. It, it's really up in the air at this point, I think, yeah. uh, of what, which way it could go. It's fascinating because we see um, inside a famous marriage and and what's going on in, in, in closed doors? So, what what do you think about that? Like this trial specifically? I, I think it's it's very tragic because there there are no winners in domestic violence in the yeah. United States. Um, every twenty seconds, there's a new victim of domestic violence in the United States, which is just unacceptable. Um, I see this case and I I'm, I just get very sad because what if this case had the same amount of, of attention if it was if it was a case with your neighbors, would you give them the same amount of privacy mm -hmm. that you should expect from a domestic violence case? You're, you're looking at a very intimate details and yes, they're celebrities and so interesting, but we should be looking for the truth and justice, not for not clicks on a website. Yeah, I agree. Did you read the op-ed that uh, was allegedly released by Amber Heard? Uh, yes, I did. What and did you think? I thought that Amber Heard, um, well, she's she's facing the wrath of the culture of the uh, a cancel culture of uh, the United States by Johnny Depp fans. I think it's it's just so sad to see what she said actually come true. Yeah, well, uh, I I agree. It is it is a tough time in um, our society. We're just coming out of a pandemic, and then this court case and and everything else going on around the world. So it, it's a lot to take in. But a lot of things to think about within our own lives and how we can uh, be better in our life. Uh, thank you so much, thank Dan, you. for ta chatting with me today. <laughs>Take a break from the Johnny Depp case and take a look at this beautiful old building built in 1800s. This was the third Fairfax courthouse that was built and it's built with beautiful brick uh, on four acres of land that was given to the county by Richard Radcliffe. He gave the county four acres and in 1844 they built that beautiful bell up at the top uh, and it's, it's iconic you see that kind of bell structure throughout the town of fairfax it's beautiful here it's a beautiful day these walls have seen so many years of history during the civil war uh, the, the confederate first controlled this building and then the Union won control of this building. It was in the crossfire of the Civil War. And the Union held the control of this building until the end of the Civil War. That was 1865. And uh, then, years later, there were new wings built onto this building, along with, there was a no new courthouse just across the way uh, I believe it's Page Drive or Road over there that was built um, to sustain 
a lot of court cases in Fairfax County. But take a moment to appreciate the beautiful architecture of its time. Okay, so I am here, what's your name? Uh, Bill Sheehan. With Bill, and we are standing out front of the courthouse uh, during the Don Johnny Depp trial, and who do you think is, is telling the truth? Uh, I have no idea, honestly. Uh, I think, just from what I read in the newspaper, it sounds pretty brutal on both sides. It sounds like a really toxic relationship. Yeah, I agree. It seems very toxic, um, but fueled with passion ups and downs of, of love and, and furious rage. Yeah, the, the, the downs are pretty low though, I have to say, from what I've read. Yeah, I haven't heard of the highs, really. They don't, they don't really talk about the, the highs of, of the relationship. Funny thing, you're right. I haven't heard any, any highs. Um, a couple of those airplane scenes, oh my God. What, tell me, tell me more about those airplane scenes. Oh, just um, it, it, this is, I think, from Amber's perspective, oh, okay. Johnny getting drunk on the plane and um, maybe some substance abuse too and just brutal accusations of uh, cruelty. So so who are you rooting for uh, in this trial? I have no dog in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> so you have no clue. I mean I think when it comes to an abusive relationship you know both people are kind of culpable you know it takes two to tango and it seems like both of them kind of abused each other yeah, ex exactly. I, I, I agree with that comment. Just from what I've read, it sounds like each one um, gets as, as, as much as the other. So, um, I, you know, we'll, I guess we'll wait and see what the jury thinks. But if I was on the jury at this point, I'd be thinking, man, I, I, this is enough. What a toxic relationship. Why didn't she leave or he leave or they just split up because they're obviously not made for each other. We were talking last night about this a little bit, um, just in terms of the uh, pretty big age gap too, with like yes. 20 years maybe. Yeah, a huge age gap. Um, I don't think that that will make for a uh, abusive relationship, but I think it uh, was a huge age difference. And then also too, we've heard a lot about substance abuse. Do you think there's a um, room for redemption for Donnie Depp and, and his substance abuse? Uh, well, I don't know about redemption, but I, you know, hope to see that he, you know, can get things under control. But obviously, a lot of these episodes, he wasn't. So, yeah, bad stuff. Yeah. So we'll see what the jury comes to conclude here in Fairfax County in Virginia. Uh, more to come with this trial. Uh, we'll be watching as it unfolds. Right. Thank you so much, Bill. As we stand outside of Fairfax County Courthouse, I'm thinking about are there redeeming factors for Johnny Depp's career and where do we go from here? Can there be redeeming factors for drug users in this field? I'm hopeful for both parties that they will be able to move on with their lives at this point.